Well, we have an invasion on our hands here in Colorado from zebra mussels. The little aquatic creatures have the potential to really mess things up in our state, not just for boaters and for those who love to fish, but for everyone. Your reporter on the mountain, Spencer Wilson, joins us live tonight from Dillon Reservoir. And Spencer, they're on high alert for the mussels because of what they can do. Absolutely. There's a lot of things they can do, which we don't want, but one of them is make our water crystal clear, which sounds great, maybe like the Bahamas. But what that means is that those mussels are filtering out all of the bits from the water that we need for our ecosystem in the water that helps the fish. Another thing they really don't want those mussels doing is messing with our plumbing. We've reported that Colorado Parks and Wildlife has found the mussels on the western slope, and even though they've tried to eliminate them at the source, they've realized the little critters are in more places than they originally thought. And once you have them in Colorado, it's really hard to get rid of them. These things are asexual. They're, they have the ability to reproduce with just one, um, and so and they can lay just thousands of eggs, and so the reproduction capability is a huge concern. Especially if it's in, oh, I don't know, Denver Water's water delivery system from a reservoir to the front range, like Dillon Reservoir. The mussels act a lot like pouring grease down your kitchen sink, which of course you're not supposed to do because it clogs up your pipes. Eventually those mussels compound on each other time after time and create such a big blockage that even water has a hard time getting through. That's gonna be a problem to move no. water uh, to move anything successfully through that. So what can we do? If you do take anything into the water and intend to move it into different water in Colorado, it needs to be cleaned. CPW has these hot water wash stations for boats leaving the reservoir, and you should use them. Because if Denver Water has to spend time trying to clear their pipes of these things, you can bet their customers will notice too. And just because we have them in Colorado now doesn't mean it's time to throw our hands up in defeat. You know, I, I don't believe we're too far gone. I don't, I don't think um, we're at that spot, but I can tell you this, that, you know, we really have to up our game as far as just watching everything that hits our waterways and we need the public really to help. Right now, Colorado Parks and Wildlife is looking at a couple of different locations around the state in terms of water or bodies of water, where they think this could be just double checking, making sure it hasn't spread from the spots they already know what it is in on the Western Front. In the meantime, please pay attention. Make sure that you are not spreading this without knowing that you are. Live in Summit County, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Yeah, good reminder for everyone tonight, Spencer. Thank you. We have reporters, including Spencer, working to cover communities across Colorado. If you have an issue you think Spencer should look into, reach out to him through our website, cbscolorado.com.